Yo, what's going on guys? This is Easy Tech 231 here back again with another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys Android 4.4 KitKat on the 2012 Nexus 7. Let me go ahead and answer your first question. Yes, you do have to be rooted and this is a custom ROM. And also that um, this is probably not what KitKat will look like on the Nexus 7. Uh, this is just a custom ROM. It is an AOSP ROM. So here we go. We have the lock screen here uh, with, you know, the effect that we've had for quite a while. We also have the uh, Google search tab down there so you can go straight to Google now. We also have a new unlock effect or sound effect rather. Um, it is a bit different. And again, uh, you know, take this with a grain of salt. This is just a custom ROM. Again, I have no idea if this is going to be uh, you know if this is going to actually be on the Nexus 7 when the official build of KitKat will actually come out so got the new unlock effect there and yes I am outside if you're wondering <laughs> um, you know it's a beautiful day outside I thought I'd just you know film a, a review out here so here we go this is uh, Android 4.4 KitKat and to show you guys go into the settings here about tablet and there you go there's Android 4.4 KitKat for you <laughs> let's see Let refocus there we go um, and also I did install the Nexus 5 or the Google Home launcher um, pretty much just known as the Google search launcher um, if you're wondering what that is go ahead and check out my last video I'm showing you, I showed you guys that launcher on my Nexus or I'm, I'm sorry not on my Nexus on my Galaxy S4 um, but this is the launcher that it comes with right here um, so we have some new UI changes in the clock um, you know different fonts and you also have a different thing for world times down here um, you also have a separate tab for um, for uh, what am I trying to say here for alarms you notice before in four point in jelly bean you had to hit the tab down here to go to alarms now it's just here on the left hand side and then you have your timer and your stopwatch pretty handy I like the new font it's it's pretty nice um, then we have our clock widget here uh, what else do we have here um, what else is different so in the gallery there's nothing really in the gallery that's new uh, but there are some new changes in um, Gmail, Google Keep, Google Search, um, and a couple other things. Um, go ahead and check out my previous video for all that info. Let me look at the calculator. Nothing new in the calculator, really. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out this uh, Google Search Launcher on the Nexus 7. Um, again, I'm going to say this again. Go ahead and check out my previous video so you can understand what this is all about. But this is what the Nexus uh, 5 will have. Um, the quick... Uh, tab to Google now which is really really handy um, and as well as some new UI changes as well so it does work on the Nexus 7 which is really cool um, now there is some cool thing about uh, <laughs> about 4.4 KitKat is that you can just activate Google by saying okay Google but apparently it didn't hear me let's try it again okay Google what is the weather in Orlando Florida There you go. So it's got the new, um, you know, voice recognition. That is actually really cool. Let me interrupt real quick and show you something real quick. I forgot to show you guys the uh, the KitKat Easter egg. As you know, in the versions of Android, you can multiply tap the Android version and you get a uh, a little um, a little Easter egg. And this is the Android 4.4 Easter egg, real quick. You get a K for KitKat, long press, it spins around, and then you get kind of like a KitKat font, but Android instead, and then you long press on this, and there you go. You got a whole bunch of tiles that shows you uh, different versions of Android. As you can see, we've got Jelly Bean, Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, Cupcake, <laughs> Honeycomb, um, Donut, Eclair. I mean, this is really cool, and you just tap on them and they switch around it's not as interactive as jelly bean where you can just fling them off the screen uh, but this one <laughs> you know it's kind of cool so that's pretty cool and I just wanted to show you guys that alright back to the other video let's go ahead and go to Google now real quick um, so yeah you got some new changes kind of like uh, uh, what do you call it uh, Google Plus 
you swipe up and you get the colors flowing around there for refresh and yeah go ahead and you know try this out again you have to be rooted and this is a custom uh, custom ROM and you will get Android 4.4 as I showed you before Android 4.4 and uh, yeah, try it out for yourself and let me know what you think. I really like this. This might have saved me from selling this Nexus 7 because it is a lot smoother. Um, and that's pretty much the advantage of KitKat, what they said. It's, it's going to you know, help with all the fragmentation. You know, it's, it's going to be able to run on older hardware. And, you know, that's really good for people like me that own older, older hardware. So <laughs> that's really cool. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Definitely check out this ROM. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Um, follow me on Twitter at EA Sport 23 and like and favorite if you enjoyed the video. And I will catch you guys later.